Now late this afternoon, Lindzel Parm's cousin joined 21 Alive reporter Amelia Miles here at Television Park after seeing the body cam footage for himself. We want to share a portion of their conversation for you now. Right now at 7, we are sitting down with Lindzel Parm's cousin. You were on Facebook Live earlier today, and you were very emotional. Emotions were very high, and they've been high for the past couple days now. Talk about what you saw in the video that was recently released today and your emotions beyond that. Um, seeing that cop, you know, the way he handled it, I feel like he just was careless, thoughtless, you know, uh, ruthless, you know. Um, I, 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 like I said in my live earlier, I, I get, I try to look at it from every aspect, you know, and I did my best to look at it from the cop's point of view. Um, you know, when you pull up and you see someone with, a, you know, with a, a armed and, a, you know, a, a, a gun in the car, you know, you're gonna react the way that he did, but I feel like he, the way he was cussing, you know, I, I didn't like his verbiage and the, the stuff that he was saying, you know, and that was just too much for me. When you count how many times the officer and the people outside of the car were talking about your hands up, how many times did you count? And do you think that was enough time? Do you think the officer should have moved back? Like, what did you think should have happened? Obviously, not what happened, but, you know, another type of way of doing things. I'm so conflicted. I'm so conflicted because if I was the cop, I don't think I would have reacted exactly the way he did. I kind of understand because the gun was a big gun, okay? Um, I just want to know why were you on the passenger side of the vehicle? You know, I, I just don't understand that. I don't know if there's like, like I, I'm used to a cop going on the driver's side. What drew you to the passenger side of the vehicle? It makes me feel like you knew my cousin from somewhere. Maybe you would, like, I don't know what was going on with that. At the protest and even the memorial yesterday, uh, the two things that were coming out of people's mouth were release the body cam and justice for Lenzel. The body cam has been released, but what about the justice? Okay. I'm happy about the body cam and I'm so glad. I don't know if it's because of Sharon Tucker. So if it was, then thank you so much. But what's next? because I feel like they're gonna to try to justify it and just let this cop keep his job. He needs to be penalized or punished in some kind of way. I don't know if it gotta be a harsh punishment, but he needs to see some type of punishment. Um, and honestly, I'm even gonna take it a step further and say the person that he was driving with should be punished too. Um, that was not my cousin's gun. You can tell he was scared. He took a ride with someone. My cousin was coming from an event. He, he got a ride from someone that he knew, and unfortunately this happened. He lost his life because of someone else, in my opinion. So I don't want to put my foot in my mouth and speak too much and be, you know, ignorant, but this is what I believe, and I'm pretty sure I'm right. And what's some final words for our viewers tonight? Maybe, maybe the cop is watching this tonight, or Mayor Sharon Tucker, or the Fort Wayne Police Department in general. What's some final words for them? As far as the general, um, I don't want to uh, like disrespect him or bash him in any kind of way, I'm not trying to upset him, but I think he's wrong too because I, I kind of skimmed through a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of posts and you know from the news channels and stuff. So like today when I, when I heard that the video had came out, I didn't read anything. I just want to see the video. But I don't remember the, the general or the police chief speaking up or saying anything publicly, which he should have. I feel like um, I think we need to change. When, they, when the cops do something wrong, no, don't suspend them with pay, suspend them. Then you investigate. Now, if you decide to give them their job back, then you can start paying them again. But they should not be on vacation with pay after they didn't kill somebody. That is absurd. That's crazy. Sharon Tucker, I hope you do what's right. I can't tell you how to do your job, but um, I thank you for giving us the body cam right away. Um, I honestly don't believe she's going to fire that cop because I, from sources, I've asked people, do they feel like the cop is justified? And, some people say yeah. So honestly, I think she's going to kind of go with that and he's going to keep his job.